And I'm thinking to myself, man, I want to go and fuck some of his women or fuck his girlfriend, <laughs> but them hoes not that cute. Bitch <laughs> <laughs> not that cute. What's up, what's up? This is the Chop by T Podcast. Where we'll get real raw, authentic conversations. I'm your host, T. And just to the right of me, we got my brother, my dear brother, the honorable, the inconquerable, Skull. Tell him what's up, Skull. What's up, what's up, man? Oh, shit. How Ready feeling, to get bro? this thing started. I'm feeling good, man. Got a date tonight. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, <it'd> be wild. <laughs> Might do a little fucking tonight. <laughs> Alright, all right now. Hey, no, hey now. Don't do too much, nigga. <laughs> Bro be trying to save me. Don't save him. <laughs> Bro be trying to keep me from making mistakes on this bitch that I can't come back from. Cause you be fucking up. I don't care. You hurt my heart, I hurt your life. Let's jump right into it though, bro. I want to get right into it. Yep. Man, I got some triggering shit for you. All right, talk to me. You said you seen some shit out. You was watching some shit on Twitter. You wanted to give yeah. me a couple questions going in. Yeah, Let's go ahead bro, and get this, this thing shit. Going. It's going to be triggering for you, so brace okay. yourself. I'm ready. I'm ready. The first one I seen with this girl, it was crazy to me, bro. Okay. She said, my ex was a great man, mm -hmm. but a horrible boyfriend. Okay, relatable. That's how I knew I was different. This man never told me no, and I still left. Bills were paid in advance. The bills, all the bills were paid. Flew me first class everywhere. Damn. Court size seats for the season. For the season. Uh -huh. Shopping every day and I still left. Did she say why the fuck she left? She said he protected and provided, but the communication was horrible. No, wasn't affectionate at all. I didn't feel like he liked me. Enough. Okay. So the communication was horrible. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> I think it's bullshit. Well, yeah, I think that's I think it's bullshit. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna tell you this. I ain't gonna lie. Like I think that she she fuck around and she got a point, bro. I you think, think she I, got a point. I think she might have a point, bro. Oh fuck. No. <laughs> I think oh, she might oh, have a point. Oh, Listen, oh. if you know, you can't communicate. Like, it don't matter what you're doing for me monetarily. If you can't communicate, that's really a game changer. Think about it. We know women, though. She okay. probably mad because he didn't feel like talking about his feelings for the day or some shit. That could be very true. <laughs> it's some bullshit, yeah, so bro. That be very true. Because <laughs> why not leave with that? You said that shit, then somebody had to ask the question. Yeah. That's yeah, some bullshit. Yeah. She just said that shit to justify her action. That's mm -hmm. why I'm always team nigga, bro. Yeah. I'm always team man. That's why I'm always team man, bro. Mm -hmm. Cause at least we own up to our bullshit. Some I'm, of us. I was being a fuck boy. Yeah. Some of us own up to our bullshit. She just didn't want the man no more. All of us don't own up to our bullshit, bro. You don't think so? Mm-hmm. Not even after the fact though? Mm-hmm. It's shit I still ain't admitted to doing it. <laughs> 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 okay, well, well. No, nah, you can ask what you said. <laughs> I'll say it. <laughs> like, I always feel like you're pretty transparent, though. Yeah, but it's some shit I ain't admitted to. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> nah, you know. Uh, I know. You're well aware of these things <laughs> that I done done. <laughs> but I, I guess, you know, but I do feel like majority of us, we will say, hey, I was in a wrong in the situation. Yeah, they 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 pride is bigger than our their ego is bigger than our. Yeah, I think now maybe it's always been like that. They always had big mm -hmm. pride and egos and shit like that. Maybe, but I think no shit, it's overinflated. It's like they got male egos now. Yeah. To me, to me personally, it seems yeah. like now when I'm talking with my girls, like I'm dealing with my homeboy now sometimes. Yeah, and it's like whoa, yeah. that's like I can you know. Go back tussle it out with my yeah. old boy. Can't <laughs> I can't do, do that with you. Like I can't fucking tussle with you. That's a charge. <laughs> like, what it is, people got too much access to them, bro. Yeah, that's what it is. They getting thirty hard eyes a day from yeah. lame ass niggas, but they giving them that. They give them that validation. That validation. Yeah, <laughs> I got a motherfucker man who really was heavy, heavy with with my woman and shit, man. She was a uh, or the woman I was dealing with. Mm -hmm. Not my woman. Now. I ain't got no damn woman now, but. It's like, and I wanted to get him, too. <laughs> I wanted to get him. You know what I'm saying? Because that's me. I, I, I seek vengeance. Did he know you? He know me. He, he knew me well. Uh, very yeah. well. Like, extremely well. But just playing around with my woman, right? Yeah. He playing around with my woman. Of course, she in denial because she don't want to admit her bullshit. But playing around with my woman at the time. And I'm thinking to myself, man, I want to go and fuck some of his women or fuck his girlfriend. <laughs> but them hoes not that cute. 
<laughs> you got a slow ass roster of wimps. In my fact, why you think you can deserve you deserve to talk to one of my women? Who you think you are? It's like how the bitches ugly. I love fucked up. And she's so fucking dumb. She just Oh, is he giving me attention? Oh, oh I, I wish they would just admit they be needing that validation from different people sometimes. I call it weird bitch energy. Weird bitch energy. <laughs> It's definitely weird. Bro. It's weird, bitch. And it's, it's weird as fuck, bro. Yeah. The day I find me a motherfucker that I'm going to, um, the day I find a motherfucker that's just going to give me my space, let me do my thing, and listen to me while, like, not, let me do my thing, give me my space, listen to me, and she able to do her thing and, like, hear me out mm-hmm. and and I and allow me to hear her out and really communicate effectively, I'm done. I'm out of the game. I'm hanging up the jersey. Yeah. That's a fact. I think it's really it's really women out here like that though. Yeah, Tyra was like that. Yeah. Tyra was for sure like mm-hmm. that. It's just that selfish shit that ended up happening. Yeah. That selfish shit that happened in the long run fucked us up. What else you got for me though? This girl said, You know how we gotta wait the six weeks after we have a baby to have sex. Right. <laughs> she said, I go through my baby daddy phone. <laughs> he trying to find <laughs> pussy the same <laughs> day I had the baby. <laughs> like, damn, we can't wait till we get home first. <laughs> Oh shit, bro! I was already making plans. Like, I got a story for you, bro. <laughs> what you do, bro? That shit happened to me, bro. With Tyra, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Oh man! All right, and it wasn't even like because, like, they had did some shit wrong with her with her surgery and shit, and like it took her a little longer to heal or whatever. So it was longer than six weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't. I wasn't That's trying to. Real. Yeah, I wasn't trying to fuck per se, but I. I was I was trying to fuck per se, you know. It's, it's like it's like, like, like but I wasn't trying to fuck, but it's like it's like you see the back signal. It's like let me just see, man, like what this shit let about. Me, they were trying to indirectly fuck. <laughs> <laughs> shit is that, bro? <laughs> indirectly, uh, fuck. she gonna see this shit and be like, I knew it, nigga. <laughs> I knew it. No, I I actually wasn't though. It's just like. You was bored. No, nah, it wasn't even that. I just, I mean, pff, this shit finna sound so, such like a woman, but I needed attention, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know, bro. I know. I just needed it, bro, because he was dealing with the healing, the babies. You know, like, it's like, I know the feeling you're talking about, though. It's yeah, like, it's this moment when they had that baby and shit. It's like, you the man, but you, it's like, you just dare. Yeah. It's like, I, I gotta find my place You yeah. know what I'm saying Yeah I get the baby Here and there But it's like I'm not getting no attention The, the baby getting All the attention Yeah yeah, All the love Yeah and at the time You know I was getting it in Working like a motherfucker So um, I just needed a motherfucker To talk to me Talk to me nice That's what I need Nigga call your friends Yeah Yeah <laughs> Motherfucker can't it's, a, it's certain conversations are different though yeah, I, I you're looking for some real substance from a woman though. Ain't I was, feminine energy too. Yeah, I was looking for a motherfucker to send me videos and playing with their pussy. <laughs> <laughs> bro needed some action. <laughs> That's what I was looking for, bro. <laughs> bro That's what I was action. looking for. That's you wouldn't get no action, bro. <laughs> I wouldn't get no it's action. Just, you was horny as fuck. <laughs> you, was, you didn't need no attention. He was funny as fuck. She ain't wanna suck my dick because she got damn baby right there. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> That's an excuse too. <laughs> What you doing? He don't know. <laughs> he doing this shit. <laughs> Motherfucker can't even hold his head up. Yeah, you know, oh, nah, my little one came out the womb holding that bitch. For up. Real? Yeah, my nigga Ben had a strong neck. God knew. God knew he's gonna have. Yeah, God knew this motherfucker got a lot of head. We gotta get him straight. This person said, "Y'all can convince yourselves otherwise, but I want the marriage." The black love, the family, the house, the holiday traditions. I want all of that. Mm. They said they ain't new. They ain't with this new age shit. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, sh- I'm T Diddy for life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> T Diddy for life, bro. I ain't gonna you lie. You don't think that'll get old though? No. You don't think so? No, no. Because I was thinking about it. we had this conversation. I'm talking, yeah. Yeah. And I was thinking about it, and I'm just thinking about me, bro. I want that too, bro. I want to come home to my family, bro. I want to mm-hmm. come home to like me holding the baby while my girl, while my wife cooking and shit like that. We vibing out to music and shit like that. Yeah. I want to get in the, the Christmas pajamas with my kids and my wife and shit like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. But it's looking like the era we live in is gonna be hard. That shit ain't gonna happen. What you just said. 
That's some in your head shit. You know how women be like, oh, I want to be married. Blah, 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 all that shit. That shit ain't going to happen, bro. Like, bro, that's a fairy tale. You come home, nine times out of ten, this is what's going to happen. You're going to come home to the house. Your wife tired as hell. The kids around that bitch acting a fucking donkey. Throwing up, pissing every fucking word. Doing shit. You just stop, stop, stop. As soon as you walk through the door, she just tired as fuck. She's like, here, take these damn kids. And ain't no music playing. And she rocking the baby while she cooking. They don't make them like that. This TV shit. <laughs> It's TV shit. Bro. Been brainwashed. <laughs> bro, I want to wear a matching Christmas pajamas. I want to gay. Bro. I don't want to be out here Diddy bopping this shit. Bro, that life is better. Look at how Diddy living, bro. He free to love, bro. I'm T Diddy for life. I ain't gonna lie. Just being free to love, being able to be out here, you know, shit. Chill. Now, if I found that, what you said, uh-huh. I'm out of here. <laughs> If I found that shit What you said I'm out of here I'm gonna fuck out of here But Just being able to love bro, Freely And move freely How you want to <laughs> That boy shit That boy said I wanna just have a celebration of love Motherfucker said So you wanna party <laughs> Yeah <laughs> that's me Yeah that's me I just want a celebration of love I ain't really out here Like I'm not trying to Overcomplicate it either mm-hmm. bro I just wanna be out here Let me spend some money Especially when I'm in that bag come When niggas You know All that shit Reap the uh, benefits of your of your you know mm-hmm. shit like you get everything you doing everything that you supposed to do like when that bad come and motherfuckers like get the rewards of all your hard work you know the truth For, is the man with the bag get to do whatever he yeah, want bro like I'm a fucking I'm a this I'm a coming to a party on a helicopter get because what you saying I might as well if you think you finna have all this shit I might as well imagine myself too right. I'm finna come to a fucking party. <laughs> On the helicopter, fly in on skyscraper, get off that bitch. We having a party by the fucking uh, pier in New York somewhere. And after that, I hop on a boat and fly and drive the boat all the way to fucking wherever I want to. <laughs> Bro, going to goddamn Never Never Land. <laughs> this is Grand Theft Auto shit. This is, she's, she basically painting this picture. I want to come home and uh, it's like, man, listen. <laughs> they can act like they talking about that old thing back, this old love shit. Bro, your grandfather was cheating on your grandmother. Yeah. Yeah, somebody would cheat on somebody. <laughs> That's why your auntie light skin and your uncle dark skin, <laughs> and both your grandparents light skin. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. <laughs> somebody would get off. <laughs> Granny would get a back broke. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I remember when I found out. My dad, my granddaddy wasn't my real biological granddad. Yeah, it fucked me up. Hey, what the fuck y'all had going on, <laughs> Grandma? <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> Fucking stroking. What the fuck are they doing? What the fuck are we doing? Oh my god, it's, be, hey, it's life though, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Humans fuck, bro. That's what Humans we supposed fuck, to do, bro. bro. We try to act like we all high and all the spirituality and we the chosen ones. We, we living in a dangerous game. We trying to everybody trying to box each other in, bro. Yes, bro. Let me be free to love, bro. Fuck all that other shit. I got a question though. You free to love though? What what the women you dealing with? They got to deal with me. What you mean? Only you? Yes. Nobody else? Nobody else. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> yes. Yes. And if you don't want that, if you're not trying to do that, then you're not for me. Damn, that's so fucked up, though. Hey, no, it's not. <laughs> it's, you're only <laughs> able to do that because you have the leverage. That's what I'm saying. Then she should go find some leverage somewhere. That's not my fault that you didn't make the proper financial decisions <laughs> to put yourself in a place. Like, what are we? It's been like this since the beginning of the time. Kings had several women that they dealt with. They did. Like, like kings, queens also had motherfuckers. Like, you know, like if you want to be in a position of power, then position yourself to be in a position of power. Like, if you yeah. want that, and if you're not able to do that, then that ain't my fucking fault. Yeah. I made it. You're okay? Right. Survivor of the fittest. Yeah. <clears throat> Equality is good. I would never go against equality and all of that other shit. I'm not saying that I'm going to use my power to mm-hmm. do anything. Up front, as I, because I got it, I'm going to let you know mm-hmm. this how I'm rocking. You think the women ain't happy with Diddy, bro? They you happy, bro. bro. Them motherfuckers able to do whatever they want to, bro. And you see the bunch of broke women in the comments talking about, ah, he, they letting him disrespect them. Like, no, no. no. If, if you was, you would love to be in that position. You would love to you be would in love that, that position. Shit. Yeah, you bro. would love that shit. Yeah. Like, stop, stop lying, bro. Mm-hmm. Stop lying. Trips to fucking Italy and and fucking on yachts with the most famous of people and just connections and networks and he giving you TV shows and all this shit. It's like he's a resourceful man. Like he can yeah. change anybody 
life in your fam in your family. Anybody right. else, he's just go touch a person, their whole life change. Bro, I had a motherfucker I was dealing with, bro. That celebrity shit, a motherfucker. I had a motherfucker I was dealing with, bro, who fucked around and got to fucking with a celebrity. And nigga. this nigga was like, he was an ugly nigga. That nigga looked like you with two hundred more pounds. <laughs> Well, bro, I'm cute, bro. <laughs> they do me like, like I'm just saying, bro. The man was ugly as hell. She got them Paula in with the nigga all under the nigga and shit. Like it's just because he's a celebrity. It's That's a celebrity. all the shit is, bro. Yeah. And send me a picture of him and her together, hugged up. Damn, Damn. this bitch is evil. <laughs> These bitches is evil, Scar. Bro, say you look like me. Played in my and face. And I know who he talking about. <laughs> that nigga do not. Look like me. He got the hyperpigmentation in his skin. That boy don't exfoliate. That boy does not exfoliate. You fucking with a nigga who fat as hell who don't work out and don't exfoliate? Uh, bitches is bonkers. <laughs> Having a girl nobody touched since you met her is the biggest flex a man can have. That ain't true though. And who the fuck wants that? Yeah. That nobody touched since you met her. Yeah. Like meaning like you got with her and nobody fuck with her and shit. And, and, in the thread I read, they was talking like no, like damn, they're like a virgin, virgin type shit. Yeah. Like she ain't been around like that. Yeah, no, nah, I, I think that uh, yeah, no, nah. it ain't necessarily that I want no slut or no shit like that yeah. either. A hoe who fucking around, but like that ain't a flex. A flex is having like a, just a solid woman, a though. solid woman that's on her shit. Like she can still be dumb as hell, and mm -hmm. ain't nobody touched her. Nobody Maybe that's why her. nobody touched her because she dumb as hell. <laughs> Like, dummy. Did some shit about her. Like, Don't nobody did nobody touch you. <laughs> like that ain't no fucking. Oh yeah, I got me one. Like yeah. that's high school shit. Actually, like oh, I got a virgin. Like, I got a virgin. It's really like pee on shit. Too. Yeah, it's like you. This somebody you could maybe control. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You you not worried about no competition. Uh huh. <clears throat> she ain't got that pole put on her yet. <laughs> So you got that man <laughs> Mother laid her down Sprayed her down Motherfucker ain't been Folding her ass like a press Or putting her in All different type of positions Yeah And you know you got You can You know whatever You can have ass that shit mm -hmm. Yeah Niggas is weird Yeah niggas is weird I don't know man I think the this Life shit get tricky mm -hmm. You know Humbleness Humbleness is such a weird thing I think <clears throat> we, we, We've been spending So much in today's time Trying to get people to just all become this one tribe where everybody believes the same thing, but it's not possible. It's not only is it not possible; it's boring. That's mm -hmm. a boring existence. Mm -hmm. Everybody believing in the same, same thing. thing. Like I love it. You know, as long as it's not hurting anyone. Mm -hmm. Like you know, be racist. Just don't fucking hit kids or be mean to kids yeah. and shit. But yeah. you know, you want to throw out a nigga or something. You just got to mm -hmm. deal with the consequences. Whether yeah. it's you getting knocked the fuck out, right? Or whether it's you getting fired from your job, you know, yeah. whatever. Or if you want to throw out a couple, you know, anti-Semitic things, do it. Like, at least you let the people know where you stand. I was just telling a person, like, that's why I don't like the political correctness shit. Mm -hmm. I want to mm -hmm. know who I'm standing beside. Yeah. I want to know who I'm around. Yeah. Speak your mind. Let mm -hmm. me know who you are. I don't. Mm -hmm. I could be shaking a racist hand, eating yeah. with him and shit. Like, yeah. the whole time, he plotting on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind it, though. I think it's all it adds to the whole spectrum of us. Like, it's all everybody uploaded into this video game. Yo. And it, and it's just like oh we got a bunch of different characters every day mm -hmm. with these new things we make different characters with mm -hmm. social media everybody be thinking it's the end all be all with this shit when the internet came on all these kids playing mind of Warcraft whatever the fucking games mm -hmm. and they ain't gonna be outside but we came through that generation we, we was outside we was doing like, both of them yeah we was doing both of them playing <laughs> games and all of that and some new shit gonna come from these children bro. yeah they gonna, they I'm gonna excited. build some great shit I'm excited to see what the fuck happened I would love to see what Maverick kids look like that shit would be beautiful <laughs> you like, well, they gonna like physically, yeah. Oh, you talking about like, like what they what gonna they, be on? Yeah, what they be like? Yeah, yeah what they yeah, gonna be yeah, on? Yeah, it's gonna be some futuristic shit. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. They gonna be on some next level shit. I bet, or maybe not. Maybe they'll be dumb as fuck. <laughs> maybe they'll be bums. <laughs> shit. Hey, that's a high possibility, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I was just thinking about that the other day. I was like, you do everything for these kids, bro. And they still got that might veer left on your ass. Yeah, bro. So I step with the left hook, knock your ass the fuck <laughs> out. You just was like, what the fuck was this? What is this? Nah, I'm super excited, though. I'm super excited yeah. about our future as well. Mm -hmm. Last time at the end of the episode, I was telling people like that I'd get them um, <clears throat> $100 if they DM me, told me they love me and shit, hit me up. And mm -hmm. I, a lot of them did. 
and nobody got shit. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfuckers. Thank you for watching up until this point. Thank you. Thank you. But you know something else the motherfuckers didn't do? They, they didn't do? buy no merch. They, they say I'm sure they ain't bought no merch. Motherfuckers ain't bought no merch. Motherfuckers didn't share, like, comment, subscribe. They goddamn bought a hat, shirt, <laughs> fucking sock, nothing. <laughs> but they want them hunted, though. Want them it was a test. You failed miserably. You failed, selfish motherfucker. <laughs> I cannot believe y'all. Nah, shout out to everybody who hit me up. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to y'all. Like, I truly appreciate people coming through watching the episode. Mm-hmm. Just watching the full episode, listening to us, listening to what we say. But yeah. this shit turned into something so magical and people don't even see it. They right don't now. see it. It's right before they are. Like, right, like, it's going to be like when it happens, I'm like, oh shit, this shit happened overnight because we not quitting. Mm-mm. This shit not stopping. We not quitting. Can't stop. Niggas we came too far. <laughs> Bruh, like, we almost two years of this shit. Every Saturday recording, Monday through Friday, businesses and everything. If you watch up until this point make sure you go uh join our facebook group too mm-hmm. we got a facebook got group. A facebook group it's gonna be lit in that bitch. yeah a lot of arguments a lot of turmoil if you into that type <laughs> of thing maybe not though maybe we not do all that but nah, I, i'm i'm super excited in the direction that we going though mm-hmm. and the process that we that we stepping into like, yeah me too bro me too. i think the, the greatest course of action for us at this point is or the greatest reward for the us moving mm-hmm. forward in, into this point, or is just the response that we get from the audience, the give and take. Yeah. People are so opinionated about they the things are. that we say up they until are. this point, and that's just a powerful thing. Mm-hmm. People was telling me about the anti-Semitic episode that we did. It was like Hitler didn't hate black people. I was like, okay, go read Hitler's manifesto. <laughs> <laughs> like actually he hated everyone. Like it was just crazy. But I was like, go watch the full episode. Like I'm just happy that you got an opinion on the words yeah. that are coming out of my mouth. That you feel so yeah. strongly to come. Yeah. I'm super dope. excited because a lot of people don't get that. They don't get it. They don't, they don't get, get it. It's a lot of people been doing this, bro. Because they ain't the fucking child by T, yeah. nigga. And my birthday coming up soon. Yeah. Yeah, we finna be lit. <laughs> yeah. And I'm fucking. I'm, I'm gonna fuck a white girl for my birthday. You was you was doing good. <laughs> I'm a fuck a white girl you for was my doing birthday, so well bro. I'm a fuck a white girl. For, look, Cindy, nigga. <laughs> no Cindy. Out of here. Okay, this, okay. This trailer park. It's, I don't. That's what I want. <laughs> what you mean? I don't want nothing prissy. I want something out the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> fucking feet gonna be dirty. I want a motherfucker that might have a tape worm. <laughs> Yo ass, <gonna> chill. <laughs> For my birthday. <laughs> For your birthday? You wild. We're going to catch a whole goddamn oh, BV. Yeah, I don't care, bro. We lit. <laughs> shit, fuck it. YOLO. You only live once, bro. That's what YOLO mean, in case you didn't know. I knew, motherfucker. You only live once. You got to you gotta go out here and have raw sex sometime, bro. That's just how this shit go. With a white girl named Cindy. Yeah? Yeah. So, Cindy, if you out there, I'm here. <laughs> you got to put the little... <laughs> oh, I'm here. I'm here for you. All right, shit, I will wait. I will wait. Now I do got a date tonight, though. Damn, bro. Got a date tonight. Bro got a whole date. Bro excited. Bro got butterflies. Man. I got butterflies. I'm super nervous. But you call me puss. <laughs> I'm excited, bro. <laughs> I've been waiting on this one for a long time. Than one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Every woman that I've had want me back. Every one of them. Just about. Just. About. If we got, if we talking about the last ten, at least six of them want me back. That's over fifty percent, brother. Come on now. God damn. Come on now. Oh, Brady. Come on now. <laughs> Shit. Boy, efficient. Yeah, effective <laughs> and efficient. But anyway, if y'all watching up until this point, go subscribe, like, comment, go get our merch, share this podcast with motherfuckers, yes, all this other shit. Share it with the people. We need y'all. We need y'all to help grow our shit. Mm-hmm. Y'all are the people. Y'all are the foundation to help us grow our mm-hmm. thing, this thing of ours. And when I say ours, I don't just mean me and Sco. I mean all of ours mm-hmm. because y'all helping us do this, and we can, we are grateful. Mm-hmm. You can call me anytime. Hit me up. Let me know your opinions on something. What you feel about something? If I feel like I'm, if you feel like I'm being distant or not really trying to tell you what I feel, is only because my baby mama made me mad that day. <laughs> and it's just shit I going on in my <laughs> and like I'm pissed because Maverick been fucking touching my face and touching his dick. <laughs> Touching his dick, then touching my face. Touching his dick, then touching my face. Like, not washing his hands. And farting in my face. Like, 
Like, just being a fucking weirdo to me the whole day. Like, and I get tired of that. So, it's, it's, all I'm trying to say is I'm going through a lot. I be going through a lot. <laughs> and if I act that way, it doesn't mean I don't want to hear what you want to say. Still tell me, and I'll give you the best comeback that I can in a moment. I go through a lot, so let's go. So, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Listen, this is the Chat by T Podcast. We'll get real, raw, authentic conversations. Until next time.